Hey guys, welcome back to Stacey Goes Outside. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I make mildly entertaining fishing videos and I post content at least once a week. So if fishing is your jam, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Today, I'm out on a new lake. I'm here on Don Pedro, 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 I'm not sure what it is. Never been here before, but I'm out here with my buddy Gary Bush, who you've seen in at least one or two of my videos and my new fishing buddy. Introduce yourself, sir. Gardner Bullard. Gardner Bullard. So we're on Gardner's boat this morning. It was a very late night for me last night. I had a little birthday celebration with my family, got home late, slept for two hours, and then I headed up to Gary's house and we drove two and a half hours to go kokanee fishing. Today. And it's the 4th of July weekend. Surprisingly, and fortunately, there aren't a lot of boats out here fishing. So we're gonna, stay out here for a few hours and see what we can find before the masses of people come in. Let's go fishing. Yeah, just go slow. How? Oh. Because the drag's really light. Is that it jumping? We show up our way. Woohoo! First one of the day. God, what a beautiful morning. All right, get that net, boy. Right. Woo! A nice one, Carter. That's a nice, that's a nice net, That's a good too. one. Nice. Wow. Look at that beautiful coconut. Beautiful. Nice, healthy, flat, fat fish. Nice. All right. Use this. Silver Dodger, and then what is that? What's this lure called? Just a small, small pinch And then shoe peg corn? Yep. Your secret recipe. All right, starting to nail them out here. There you go. I think he's on. I'm pretty sure he's on here. Yep, it's on. Fish on, folks. Show them the face of uh, two hours sleep. Keeping my glasses on all day. <laughs> So right. I set my alarm for 12.30 a.m. after I got home at 10.30, 10, 10 o'clock p.m. And then got to Big Handsome's house at 3 a.m. this morning and then he let me nap for a couple hours. So. Yeah, and then she slept and snored the whole way out. Uh -huh. I wouldn't doubt it. And here she is on a nice kokanee out here. At yeah, this feels good. Don Pedro. That one feels, that one looks good, right? Easy station. It's still on. That's a trout. Oh, there you go. Nice. So is that kind of the average size from the lake, or what would you say? These are healthy fish for this year. This has been, been, been what I've been catching. Like I said, the numbers are down, but the, the fish are not really nice quality. You got another biter right there. You got another biter uh -oh. right there. Here, you grab it. Try to double up right here. Yeah, that one's big. Sometimes they get up top, they hit this warm water, and it just kind of freezes them up, and they just come right in. And other times they stay lower and bite the whole way. No, you're staying down. It's a good. Oh, this is a good one, Gardner. Back. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. Wow. Yeah, man, you can't put your hands around them. That's, that's, that's great. That's, that's a beautiful one. Uh -huh. That's a male. That should be a. That's probably that's a, a big, big male there. You just said it was a male, yet you called it sweetheart. There's something you want to tell me? They're all, they're all. <laughs> really? Wow. Ooh, look at that. That's a nice fish. Not a bad morning so far. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's your lucky net. We're christening Gary's new net here. All right, we got Barwood out here. You see, he is on another kokanee put on by our, our guide, Mr. Gardner Bullard, on the official guide, but he's guiding for the day. Fishing that CG80 Lamaglass. Coconut rod. Oh, it's getting close. 
Stay high, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Coming right up to the net. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Another. Another big one. Yeah, you're so pretty. Right. Pink Hoochie again? Yep. Yeah, it's magic today. Look at that, guys. We haven't gotten anything smaller than this today, so pretty nice day. We have four in the box. So the limit here is five fish per angler any combination of kokanee and trout, right? right? What kind of trout are in here? Is it just rainbows? Rainbows. Uh, there used to be some brown, there's browns in here, but mainly rainbows. Right. Let's see your friends. Do you have a secret recipe there? Yeah. What is it then? Procure. Oh, which scent? Uh, the base is uh, the kokanee special. I okay. It is, and then a little bit of uh, the, uh, the anise in it. them to bite the rods on the right side of the boat but yeah we got the exact same thing on both yeah. sides yeah uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a bitch isn't it okay what a nice fish wow. beautiful today See, there's there's one of the parasites. Oh, yeah, usually, cool. usually they get them up here in their. Well, like I said, I call it their armpit right there, but that one's out here. You said that takes it sucks their energy out of them. Well, they get enough of them on there. It's you know, it's it's obviously feeding off of them somehow, uh -huh. so it can't be good for them. Like I said, these fish are in really good shape. They're really healthy. Nice size. All right, Sleepy's on another one. She's happy today. Fun day. This is a lucky rod today. Yeah. Oh, oh. Still on there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Try to make him run for it. There he is. Oh. oh, another big fatty. Another big fatty. There you go, Stace. What a day. Captain knows what he's doing. Yeah. You're right. He does. More so, he's even a better yeah, person. Is there light lines on here? You want to be careful because what happen? You'll have a lure that's doing good like this one is, and then you'll break it off or something, and oh. <laughs> it'll never be the same for the rest of the day. Well, that's a great fish, you guys. That's that's day, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's on there. Right there. Oh, no. I was trying to. He's right there. I can still see him. He's right there. You scoot. Oh, too far. Yeah, he's just outside the net. If I'd have probably had it right here when it first happened, I may have been able to scoop him. Tell you don't bass fish because you reel so slowly. No, I don't pull the fuck out of the mouth like you do. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> Good one. Sweet. You're supposed to reel them in socks like that, homie. <laughs> I don't know if I get too excited. Took good, huh? Good job. Yeah, it's there's fat here. What's it on? Did you get it on the pink uh, the pink, the pink Dang. Okay, well, yeah. that's the lure of the day. Just... A beautiful one, guys. Good job. <laughs> all right, time to flay all these beautiful kokanee. Let's watch.
at the lake. So it's been a long day. So I hope you enjoyed my first trip to Don Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. I'll figure that out eventually. As you can see, it wasn't so much a numbers game today, but a quality game. The fish were definitely fatter than what I had expected. And if you do enjoy kokanee fishing, make sure that you stay tuned because later this month, I will be going back out for kokanee either at Bullard's Bar or at Berryessa. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel because you don't want to miss out on that video. I'll be doing a whole bunch of other fishing too, of course. I've got a bass tournament coming up. I've got an ocean salmon trip and I've got some other surprises in there. So make sure that you're following along, checking out my different playlists. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, comment on my Facebook page or my Instagram page. Let me know where you'd like to see me fish. And who knows, maybe when I'm back out there for my next kokanee trip this month, I'll see you outside.